and we are going to talk to Matthew. No pronouns given, but calling from Oklahoma. I'm glad to see that Matthew is calling because uh, I did speak to him in a in a chat recently or in uh, in the comment section of my last video, and uh, I requested he call he call in and maybe further discuss with Ben and I what he meant uh, when he wanted to address my comment on the atrocities of slavery. So let's talk to Matthew. Go ahead, uh, Matthew. You are you are on. I am here. I'm all okay. right. All right. Hey, how you doing? Good, good. I'm I'm so glad to hear from you. Um, I always think it's wonderful when somebody is engaged in the chat uh, or in the comments and they uh, they find it, uh, you know, they find themselves in a position where they're comfortable calling in. I know that could be a big a big leap for people. But uh, what was on your mind, Matthew? Uh -huh. Comfortable would be an overshot of words, sir. But we're here oh. and uh, I'm let's here. Let's do it. Uh, let's do it. <laughs> Well, I mean, first off, man, I'm a simpleton. I'm actually from Texas. I live in Oklahoma. I'm training to be an electrician. I, I am a simpleton, and there are a lot of things that I don't know. But okay. first off, I got to say I apologize for coming at you so harshly, and I appreciate your service. I heard you mm -hmm. in your last call that you were a military serviceman. Appreciate that. Hey, uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Though there are things that we don't agree on, I'm sure there are things that we do agree on. And there's two gentlemen, well, I guess three, because, oh, Ben, how you doing? Hi. I, I'm part of this conversation, too, in case you uh, didn't know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> how you doing? Doing all, uh, doing all right. I mean, no disrespect or nothing. Uh, I just, when, when Matthew, I don't even Matthew, know I'm going to help you along here. Across. I'm going to help you along. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt. I want to. I want to make sure that we that we get to the topic, right? So, like, I know that you have a right. lot you want to say, and, and I'm happy to yeah. I'm happy to go down that road. But <laughs> my sad. my intro, my hold, hold on one sec. My intro to the the last show that you saw me do was me quoting Genesis 16, telling the story about Abraham. And uh, people who who are familiar with my work have heard me talk about that story before. That is a very significant story, I think, in the Bible. Um, but more importantly, the point I was making at, at on that particular show was that I believe that is uh, one of the earliest times in the Bible that we see God not only condone slavery, uh, but uh, dare I say rape, I hate that word. Uh, but, you know, we see that and we know that God did nothing to stop it. And so that is a problem for me when I have to consider God as the moral authority in our universe, which is an idea that many would would support. And so having said that, Matthew, what is your take on my idea that God was supportive of rape, slavery, um, abuses to children, uh, how, all things that I think are evident in that story? Alive? How long Pardon has me? the human race been around that we know of? How long has the human race been around that we know of? There, there are differing, there are differing numbers that I'm familiar okay, with. I think, conscious, oh, oh, the conscious. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Race. Listen, listen. The human species, as I understand it, and Ben, please correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the agreed upon number is somewhere between 200 and 250 thousand years. That's what uh, I would. That, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I would put it around there. So, so we have human beings as we know them today. I could go back 200 thousand years, and I could meet somebody who looks just like myself or Ben, uh, and you know, they might not be none the wiser. Uh, as to what time period I come from. Okay. Well, let's just go back a couple, couple, couple grand. Let's just go back a couple thousand years. Okay. About okay. Good. Years. Now that way we have, we, oh, let's go back to at least right before. Yeah. Okay. 2000 years. Let's go back to right around Jesus's time. And, and that way we have a good explanation of our own, whether you were a follower or whether Gentile or Jew. Okay. Whether All right. you do anything, Go ahead. Drop anything, some knowledge. Had a moral aptitude of, of, of pain, of pain and right and wrong. Okay. And so we have about, I mean, trillions upon trillions of, of countless, um, uh, uh, examples of pain and trouble and wrongness that we could blame God on constantly. 
Heck, man, well, I've had at least 500 stories of my own in my own life that I could ask, why did you let this happen? Now, now you, you back up and, and you look forward to the beginning, in the very beginning of Genesis 1, when he says, we have created all of us in our own image. Uh, he created yes. all of us in our own image. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, that right there, to me, in my faith, that I'm going to be defending is, as a, as a Christian, as a uh, Judeo Christian, a man who, if you could really break it down, could understand that the Jews are the beloved people, and the Gentiles can be be are beloved too, and can be a part of that same. You can be a part of that same love. Jerry, hey, Matthew. Or, hey, me, Matthew. Jerry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Matthew. <laughs> so, so, hey, hey, Matthew. Um, is, I, I, have a, I have a question for you. Kind of going along that. Okay, so so are you... Let me just ask you a couple questions. Do you think... Like, you, I mean, you just said that you believe that the Jews were the chosen people, but then Gentiles are also loved by God. So, so do you believe humans are loved by God? Yes. Humans are loved by God. Do you believe no. genocide is ever okay? No. Have you read do your I Bible? Question, do I question? Yes, I have. Now, have you read? Question... Have you read about the genocides committed in your Bible that were directed yes, by I God? Have. God commanded yes, the genocide of the multiple people. people. Why? So, yeah. so you said, nice. hold on. So Matthew, you said, Matthew, let him talk. Let, let, you'll have your turn. You said genocide is not okay. Right. It, do you still believe genocide is never okay? Condoned by evil and not by God himself. I cannot explain when or how. Is it or Matthew? What? You are dodging the question. Is it ever, is no. it ever okay to commit genocide? No. No. Okay. So no. your You're deity me that commanded me. that commanded for uh -huh. the genocide of people did something that is not moral. Is that correct? No, that's not. No. What you're asking me is a turnaround question. My God is moral. How? And whatever decisions that Hold my God makes, and whatever decisions that the God Matthew, do you just did uh, you, you just contradict your? I'm gonna okay. Makes yeah, yeah. yeah. Matthew, uh, I just muted you because. You just said that genocide is never okay, but then you said genocide is okay if if God commits it because everything he does is moral. So that's not consistent, right? So you contradicted yourself. So you have to explain why you're okay with that contradiction and why God gets a free pass to commit genocide, but it's wrong for everybody else. How does that how is that consistent for you? I'm going to unmute you. You're back. Okay. So, yeah. thank you. To understand your question, I had to step back and listen myself, and I appreciate you muting me. Uh, gave me a chance to stop. My God has, has nothing but morals. He is your God, too. But you, you just said that genocide, genocide is wrong. If you read, you we're just not going to turn this wrong. Matthew, we, we are not turning this into a platform where you can you come read. on and try and preach to us. I we just want you to answer oh, no, the questions. I'm defending that we're my asking. faith. You at, you said it in the beginning. Heck, you even have a you, you even are have not a Matthew. You are I'm not answering question. my question. Do you believe in hell? Do you believe in hell? No. Do you believe in God at all? Matthew, no. and no. stop dodging. So I'm going to mute your I'm ass again. Stop. No, no, because you have not addressed you have not addressed the contradiction that you made. That's what I want you to focus on. And I know that you are dodging this point. Because you have to face this contradiction, mm. right? It's a contradiction. We pointed this out. You cannot just use other arguments now to avoid the fact that you made a contradiction. So please, I'm going to unmute you. Explain, explain how this can be moral if you said that the same action is not moral. You're back. Whatever decision God made in the past, present, or future, he has that right to make that. And who are you to question it? I want you to so, make 
a create a world. I want you to create. I want you to create the big. That's bang. not. That's not answering you. my question. So, no, no, so no, no, Matthew. No, no, okay. Okay. So Matthew. Matthew. No. Okay. So you think that genocide is okay in some circumstances? Is that what I'm hearing you say? Am I muted? <laughs> no, you're not muted. You're here. Is saying, so you're saying genocide saying, is okay in some I'm circumstances? I'm asking you. I'm saying I'm not God, and I'm saying there are decisions that I I wouldn't even know how to fathom to make. And same for you, buddy. Is it okay to murder innocent people? As a human being, no, it's not. I cannot. Why is it okay God. for God to do that? Did those children back in those question. Bible days? So so think about it. It was not. It was not just. All right, you, Matthew, right. you're not listening. Matthew's muted. Matthew is muted. So, yeah. so here's, here's what I want to do real quick. I'm sorry, Ben, but uh, Matthew, so you called in um, and you apologized to me in the beginning for going hard at me or, or, or being so harsh with me in the comments. Uh, I really didn't require uh, an apology. You know, I was really happy to hear from you and I'm happy to hear from you now, but um, you know, you are not really being honest with us. Uh, we are asking you questions and you are starting to get you know, a little bit more harsh, and there's really no reason for that kind of talk. Um, you know, just listen to what Ben is saying and then follow that up with an answer to that question. If you can't do that, then there's no reason that we need to stay on this call, and I don't want to drop you. So listen listen to what Ben is saying, and I am unmuting you, and you are good to go. Uh, I am going to give you the exact same answer I have been giving. As a human being, no. Are you a deity? Are you the creator of all? I cannot that answer is, for God. That's avoiding. I that is avoiding. That the Bible is how. So how? you think? Okay, no. So analyze, analyze your 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 points here. So, like, let's think about everything that went into the genocides in the Bible, what, what? right? Like, it, this we're not. This was not at this point. Just, can we well, back? No, hold on, uh, Matthew, stop talking. You're pissing me the fuck off. Stop talking, and listen for a moment. If you have, so a lot of the, the wars back in the Bible, definitely you had men versus men who were engaged in armed combat. That was a thing that happened. But other things that happened were the unnecessary deaths of women, children, babies, pregnant people, everybody. And like God told the Israelites to kill every single person in these civilizations. Is it? ever okay i don't care who is making this call i would say my position says genocide is never okay and i don't care who's telling you it's okay to kill babies and to kill young children and to kill innocent people wow. that's never okay so you you have asserted that it is okay in some circumstances to do that you are saying that it is morally acceptable to at the direction of a deity, which we don't even have evidence exists, you're saying that that is okay to go murder innocent children. How is that okay for you? Nope, never said that. I never said that. I you know, never so, you Matthew, did. what you okay. did say, what you did say is that no matter what your God decides, <laughs> that that is okay. That's what you said. And our response I to that, that my is God 100% true. And you people are crazy. I, uh, you know, Matthew, right, well, I'm well, yeah, I'm not convinced. Great. I'm not convinced you've read Matthew. I'm not convinced Goodbye. you've read your Bible. Yeah, yeah I'm not he's, convinced he's read it. Well, Matthew is uh, is no longer with us, so uh, we are going to move on.